Hi hey everyone, we're going to factor these two problems. This one's going to be the difference of squares, and this is going to be the sum of cubes. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, so notice these aren't really perfect squares. So for guidelines for factoring, I want to use step one and check for the greatest common factor or the highest common factor. So I can divide both of these by 2, and don't lose the divisor. Divide both sides by 2, or both terms by 2. You get y squared minus 121. Here I notice that 121 is a perfect square. So basically I'm going to use my 2a here and use this. So my a is y and my b is going to be the square root of um, 121 is 11. So you're just going to write this as 2 times uh, y minus 11 times y plus 11. By the way, you can also write this as, it doesn't matter the order, you could write it as y plus 11 times y minus 11 because it's all multiplication. Now the second one, this is not a perfect square, but it is a perfect cube right here. So I'm going to, and it's a positive, so I'm going to use uh, the sum of two uh, cubes. And this is cube too, because you can take the cube root of x and get x. So in this case, my a is x and my b is 2 because 2 cubed is 8. Now following the formula I have a cubed plus b cubed so I'm going to write this as a cubed plus b cubed and fill in this formula. So we're going to do a plus b so that's just x plus 2. You can look at it this way or look at it this way. Uh, square your a so that's x squared minus multiply these two so it's 2x and then square your b so 2 squared would be like that so I'm going to go ahead and erase that because 2 squared is 4 and that would be your final answer thank you have a nice day bye bye mm -hmm.